Ever since I realized that people did art on Twitch, I've been spending a lot of my time engaging with this fantastic community. You have digital artists, physical artists, and even people who live sculpt things on stream. And that's not even including the anime and furry artwork. There is so, so much anime and furry artwork on Twitch.tv. When does it end? When does it ever end? Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys are, you guys are right. <laughs> and I myself have been on a wild journey, showing off my creative skills, from drawing, to graphic design, to even doing pumpkin carving. Wow, what a talented guy. But one of the most fun things to stream was always music. Now, the last time I made music on stream, we covered Corpse Husband's song, E-Girls Are Ruining My Life, but we told it from the perspective of the girl being a goose, and... Look, I don't really get it either. It was a group meme at the time. It'd probably just be easier to show you. Roll the clip. Honk me like you honk me when you honk me. Low-key wanna honk me when you honk me. And that brings us to today, when I decided to host a little community draw-along with a catch. Everyone would have a month to make a band poster, which included some sort of art and a fictional band name to go along with it. And then I would do my best to write a short song inspired by each submission. Now, when I started this prompt, I had absolutely no idea how insane some of the submissions would be. So stick around to see some cool posters. And while you're here, you think you could, think you could do me a favor? You think you could just like, yeah, you see that. You see the button down there. The subscribe button. You're probably not subscribed. You think you could... Yeah, just... Just go ahead. Go on. Click it. You know you... So this first poster we're going to be doing today is for my friend 600. He's a very talented artist, and he did not only one, but two posters, which is insane. I absolutely adore his art style. Not only does he have an Instagram, but he also streams on Twitch, and he's just a fantastic artist. Please give him your love and attention. Now my chat more than anyone knows that I'm not a very big country fan, so the first poster that they had to go and make was the most obviously western looking one ever. We're looking at Six's poster right now, we have a sad looking ghost, we have him all in the desert, he's got a broken guitar string, an empty beer bottle, and the title is Sad, which according to Urban Dictionary means this. With all that in mind, I took to writing the most saddest and heart-wrenching country song you've ever heard. So I'm opening up a guitar plugin. Uh, I'm gonna try and find some sort of sound that kind of fits this. I don't remember actually which one I used, so we're just gonna kind of mess around with them. Let's throw in a little drum thing. I don't know. I don't know how much country music has drums, uh, but there's definitely enough that does that I think it's valid to throw it in if we if we like. Cool, neato. Let's record this part, shall we? Now there's a technique that I saw that is used typically in country music, which is using a glass slider to slide up and down. Um, and I was considering buying one until I realized that a lot of country musicians actually would use a common alternative, and that is a beer bottle. This would typically be used for like country music because it has these kind of like, these very like long slidey fun things that they put in there. But, it also can sound a lot like Spongebob if you play a whole chord. Bikini bottom. <laughs> cool. There's our bass sound. How are we feeling tonight, Death Valley? We doing good? We feeling sad? Oh no! I'm a sad little ghosty and I'm all out of beer. So now where do we go with the story? So we've got Ghosty in the desert. Ghosty is in the desert and he's sad because he, he, he's, well not even sad, he's, he's sag. He's sag because, because he's got no goth girls. <laughs> because he's got no goth girls and he's, and he's sad. And he's, and he's out of beer too. So, what's gonna happen? It looks like Six is coming up from hell and doing blow and burning churches. Is he coming after Ghosty? Does Ghosty need to stop him? Is this the rise in conflict that we are looking for? Ghosty is the one to end his reign. 
Now comes the final part, which I've been planning on doing for this whole time. This is going to be a, a wild transition. Um, and none of you could have expected this, but I did. This is about to be the coolest shit you ever heard. Um, yeah. I'm a fucking ghost, bitch. You would never know, bitch. Pull my fucking six shot, leave you dying on the road, bitch. And just like that, we had a sad, ghosty inspired country song that has a trap break at the end. Who would have expected it? I sure wouldn't have. Sad little ghosty animal out of there I'm lost in the desert and I'm drowning in tears Six the fastest shooter in the west Ghosty want a goth girl with a big old chest Six is a demon from down below Burning churches and doing blow Ghosty is the one to end his reign Send that old fucker down the sewage drain I'm a fucking ghost bitch, you would never know bitch Put my fucking six shot, leave you dying on the road bitch Six a fucking demon, but I'm scheming so just roll with it Tie him to the Chevy, hit the gas and let the road get him So this poster was made by Cod Brasky. It's kind of got a dark, moody vibe. The artwork was apparently inspired by the game Skate, and um, from what we can tell of the band name that we are going to be using, Emails for Janice is the band name. I kind of just decided that I was going to go for sort of like a skate, um, internet-y type vibe and see where we could go from there. So we started by laying down your typical punk elements like guitar, bass, drums, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're not going to be physically drumming because I do not have a drum kit. Maybe that one. Maybe that's our ride. I think that's like, I think that's fun for now. I need like a, I need like a, I need a fill in there for sure. Dude, dude. That's probably what it is, yeah. Cool. First take, first try. Bass is easier than guitar. Get wrecked guitar. Get fucked. <laughs> And then we moved on to trying to add some extra fun stuff like synths to give this song a bit more pizzazz. I feel like it needs to have some sort of synth. Mm. I went for the first one that sounded like it makes sense, gamers. Alright, cool. That was what was in my head. It goes right into that. It goes right into that other bit. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> so this one's called Bionic Squirrel. Hold on. You ready? <laughs> Imagine you're a little squirrel, but you're like a robot squirrel, and you're just like just crawling around. You're like. We have a fucking sick squirrel, dude. I was like hanging there, hanging out with the squirrel, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little squirrel, bitch. 
And after about an hour's work, this is the song we had come up with. You got mail. Has this happened to you? Have you ever been standing on the floor in your socks and you're just take, taking your lady to pound town <laughs> and your socks are sliding all across the floor and you're like, damn, I have no traction. I have nothing to push off of when I'm taking my lady to pound town. <laughs> well, now I have the solution for you. Crocs. Well, you might think that these are a silly shoe. They provide the perfect amount of traction so that while you're having sex, you have a little bit of foot traction and you aren't sliding all over the place like a silly billy. Because no one wants to be a silly billy during sex. That's right. So she might think that you're a complete loser for wearing Crocs while you're having sex. But she, she won't be complaining when you aren't sliding all over the floor <laughs> trying to lay down the pipe. Ah! Crocs come in a plethora of colors. None of them have anything to do with sex. Let me tell you our colors. First we have c white. It's a little bit of an off-white. Thank you. Crocs. You're supposed to clap. Clap, fuckers. I'm looking at you. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, you might have been observant enough to notice that there were two posters in the thumbnail that I did not do yet, and that's because they're going to be added to the second video. So stick around, subscribe, maybe even like the video. I'm hopefully going to be releasing this on my birthday, so you're legally obliged to click the like button. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope to be making more stuff like this very soon, and this is only the beginning. Goodbye.